Hi, I'm Melissa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are having a beautiful day so far. Now we are halfway through our 30 day low calorie density weight loss challenge. I am so proud of all of you. I have loved seeing all of the photos that you've been tagging with the hashtag low calorie density challenge. You guys have been coming up with some really amazing, tasty and filling looking meals. And so keep sending them my way, I'm loving it. And I wanna just say that if you haven't started yet and you've been considering it, you can start on your own at any time. Just start by watching the first video in this low calorie density series where I explain everything. And I'll link it in the description box of this video. And follow along, just you know, do 30 consecutive days on your own at any time. And if you feel that 30 days is too much, then make it doable for you. Only you know what's kind of something that isn't too intimidating, but still a bit of a challenge. So maybe that's a 10 day challenge or even, you know, five days. Try Monday through Friday of sticking with low calorie density, whole plant food meals and see how that goes. You know, you can definitely take baby steps. If 30 days feels like too much of a big chunk to commit to, then by all means, customize this and make it your own. This is all about making it work for you so that you can lose weight without counting calories and without feeling like you're hungry all the time. So I am going to be sharing with you something that I call a capsule grocery list, which is something that I've been using for a little while now. And if you're familiar with the idea of a capsule wardrobe, it's essentially the same thing, but with food. And the benefits of the capsule wardrobe, which are simplicity, saving time, saving money, saving energy, this is the same thing. You know, if you find that you get overwhelmed with creating meals, coming up with ideas of what to make for dinner, or you find that you waste a lot of food and you're buying things with the intention of cooking them, but you never really do, and then they just go straight into the garbage and you really wanna stop doing that and focus on being more intentional with your food purchases, then this is something that may be helpful for you. And I'm gonna start by sharing my own list with you, which you can find at lowcaloriedensity.com. I've had this 25 item grocery list up there for a little while, so you may be familiar with it. So you can feel free to copy my list if you enjoy the same foods that I do. The point of this is not to just copy exactly what I do if you don't actually like the same meals that I like. You know, it's all about being intentional and it's going to take some time so i recommend doing this uh, process when you have a couple of hours you're not stressed out you can maybe put your phone down so you don't get distracted and just get a piece of paper and give yourself a couple of hours and ask yourself some questions about you know what do i actually like to eat what types of meals fill me up what seasonings and spices do I truly enjoy? And can I see myself mixing into a lot of, a lot of different dishes so that um, I don't have to have a cupboard full of so many different items? And so there's a lot that I want to cover in this video. I may make this a little bit of a series so I can focus solely on money saving tips maybe in another video because there is so much to get through. I'm gonna show you all 25 items. And so I'm going to go through the items one by one from the blog post, just so I don't miss any of them. But again, the concept of this is to make the most of the food that you have in your fridge, freezer, and pantry. To get items that can mix and match really well into several different recipes so that you don't have a bunch of stuff and you don't actually end up using all of it and maybe some of it actually ends up going bad. I know that not wasting food is something that's really high on my list. Uh, I used to not be the best at that and I always get frustrated when something needs to be thrown out and I just don't like that feeling. All right, so you know how important that wet starches are on this way of eating. So of course, can you guess what number one on my capsule grocery list is? Ugh. A big 10 pound bag of russet potatoes. This was $2.88 at Winco. What a value. I always go on and on about how much I love potatoes and how I really believe that they are the number one wet starch that you could choose if weight loss is your goal. And they're also incredibly affordable. 
they are so filling and yeah two two dollars and 88 cents for 10 pounds of food it's incredible so again potatoes are something that are incredibly versatile as well so i can make hashed browns with them i can bake them i can make mashed potatoes i can make soups and chilies and even desserts with them so and of course my no oil fries which i dip into my chickpea spinach dip which i meal prepped the other day well i guess snack prepped um, all right so next on my list is sweet potatoes which i'm also a huge fan of a little bit more expensive um, so if you are really focused on making the most of your grocery budget then i definitely recommend russet potatoes if you had to choose between the two but uh, when these are in their peak season they tend to be much more affordable sometimes a third of the price of what they are the rest of the year so um put sweet potatoes slash yams i actually love making desserts out of these because of the sweetness they taste great with cinnamon you've seen in my what i eat in a day videos i actually mash them and then put berries on top and it's delicious it's super filling and if you want something other than oatmeal to have for breakfast you can mash one of these up and have it as a sweet filling breakfast as well and again you know i love my black bean sweet potato chili you can also make no oil fries with these the options are endless and so again a very versatile food that i i always buy when i go grocery shopping i'm going to be so thirsty after all of this talking i can already feel it okay next a big container of old-fashioned oats now a lot of people ask me does it have to be old-fashioned no uh, steel cut oats are great as well however i wouldn't recommend uh, quick oats if you have quick oats and that's all there is like say you're you know on a on a holiday and you're at a hotel and all they have for the continental breakfast is quick oats that's fine but for your everyday oatmeal then i would definitely say rolled oats the old-fashioned oats or steel cut oats again these were about three dollars um, for a big big container which is 1.19 kilograms so it's a big container and alex and i both have this so but they still last us for a while i'll usually buy two or three at a time just so we have them in our pantry and let's see next if you've watched my most recent what i eat in a day video i i made this in a as a breakfast a lunch and a dinner so it's definitely versatile and it's also definitely very very filling and that is pearl barley and something that i started doing is prepping barley at the beginning of the week and i took this out of my fridge to show you so i'll fill up a couple containers like this with barley something that i like about it is that it holds really well in the fridge and also in the freezer so it's a great grain to um, to prep in advance so that you can just scoop some out throw it into your soup to make it more filling or have some of it instead of oatmeal with cinnamon and berries and a splash of unsweetened soy milk for example um, and so yes it freezes really well whereas potatoes do not so if you're if you're wanting something that you can really um, make a ton of different prepped meals and even freeze some of them, I recommend choosing barley as your grain. And again, if you haven't seen that video where I ate barley for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, essentially, um, I will link that in the description box of this video. All right, let's see what's next on this list. A bag of yellow onions. Now, I, again, this is my own list and I really recommend you customizing it to what you like. For me, I love onions and I love garlic, um, but a big bag of onions is just something that I get every single time. And I find that when I run out of onions, it's problematic for my meal prepping and my you know recipes because almost all of them contain onions. I genuinely love them and I love them cooked sauteed with a splash of water remember this is a completely oil free way of eating um, or if you want to, you know to slice them up and put it in a salad it adds some crunch so these are the ones that i get and i get a big bag of these let's see what's next on my list 
Okay, a big box of organic mixed salad greens. Sometimes I'll just get a big box of spinach, baby spinach. This was $5, as you can see. And this is a 16 ounce uh, big box of greens. So what I do is I take a handful of this and I will put it into my smoothies to get my greens and I will blend it into my dips. So this dip here is this recipe is also on the website is um, chickpeas lemon juice apple cider vinegar uh, sea salt and a handful of greens so super great way to get your greens in if you're not a big salad person is to just blend them up into everything then at least you're getting the nutrients and vitamins from the greens all right the next thing on the list is zucchini which i actually don't have any of right now but I kind of do either zucchini or cabbage, which I do have. Cabbage was, I think, 77 cents a pound, so I got this instead. And if, if not either of these, then maybe I'll get mushrooms or pepper. Those four are things that I, I, I kind of rotate, and they're kind of my non-frozen vegetables. My frozen veggies, I get the same ones every single time, um, but... The other one I put on my list is zucchini, but I know in my mind that if I'm out shopping and either mushrooms or cabbage or pep bell peppers are a really good value, I'll get that instead. So one of my tips that I do for myself to remember to eat these foods is I will actually shred this up and put it in a container and wash it immediately so that it's just easy for me to grab a handful of and put either in a smoothie or in a rice and veggie bowl or in pretty much any other dish that I make in a soup. I think the reason that I avoid eating this when I first get my groceries is that it's so much easier to open up a bag of frozen broccoli, for example, than to take this apart and to wash it all and to shred it. So if I do that work at the beginning, then I'm much more likely to actually eat it. I know that sounds really lazy, but sometimes you have to use these mind tricks to get yourself to eat the <laughs> veggies. All right, number nine is apples, and I don't have any left right now, but I just love apples because they're quick. You can take them with you. Just put one in your purse if you're hungry when you're out and you have an apple to eat. And I just think fruit makes the best snack. It's full of fiber, it's sweet, it's also full of water, and um, I just like them. Number 10 is celery. Now I love putting celery in my soups and I make soup so often, so I really find that it's important for me to always have celery at home. I'll show you. Also a very inexpensive vegetable to buy, usually under a dollar. All right, next, carrots. Also something that I put in soups, I don't often eat raw carrots. If I do, I, it's usually that I've shredded them up into some sort of a rice and veggie bowl, but uh, normally I cook these into soups and I really enjoy that. All right, this one is an, it's an important one. This is probably a top, top 10 food for me is chickpeas. I love chickpeas. They're so versatile. A tip that I have actually is because some people say to me, well, Melissa, smoothies aren't filling in the morning. If I just have fruit and greens in my smoothie, I get hungry in an hour. Rinse half a can of chickpeas and throw that into your smoothie, especially if you add flavor like cinnamon or ginger into your smoothie, you really won't taste that there's, there's beans in there at all, <laughs> but you still get the protein. And of course, I make my dips with that. I add them to chili, to uh, salads if I have salad. I, I would say chickpeas are like up there as my most consumed food. All right, next, black beans slash kidney beans. I kind of would get either one or the other, um, sometimes both, but I, I really like black beans. I love black bean dips and I love black bean sweet potato chili. So delicious, one of my favorite dishes. Uh, next, lentils. Now, I used to buy lentils in a can, but since I started shopping at Winco, they have such a good price for lentils in the bulk section, so I started buying the green lentils and also the red lentils and prepping them at the beginning of the week. Um, and I'll just make, I guess, maybe three containers full, that is this size. 
And again, I can just, same with the barley, I can just take a scoop and warm it up in the microwave or add some into a soup. And it's just very versatile, tons of protein, and it's just great to have things that are ready that don't require a lot of cooking and effort when it's time to eat. <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I'm really hungry, the last thing I wanna do is spend half an hour, 45 minutes prepping and you know, peeling potatoes and chopping onions until my mascara runs down my face and then clean up, cleaning everything up. It's nice that when you do the prepping on Sunday night and then you're hungry or ready for lunch in the week, you just grab out your food, warm it up, eat it, and it's just so easy. I love it. Bananas. I love bananas. And this is one that every time Alex and I go grocery shopping together, like I'll, he'll grab like a bunch one bunch of bananas and then I'm like going to back to get like two, three, four bunches in our carts and he's like, really? Don't we have a few bananas? I'm like, yeah, but you know, if there's extra bananas, I can always just put them in the freezer and then use that for smoothies. But if I run out of bananas, no, 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 that can't happen. We need, we need bananas for our smoothies and just, just such a good snack. And um, Becca, our dog, loves bananas. This is his favorite snack and he's actually lying on his bed and so even me saying that word got his attention. So we're gonna move along to the next one, which is frozen corn. So I have my three go-to frozen items for vegetables that I get every single time. And that is frozen peas, frozen broccoli, and frozen corn. Now these I put in soups, in chili dishes, in rice and veggie bowls, and they're just my go-to foods that I love and I just add them to everything when possible. <laughs> and honestly, those items alone, plus the beans, like the canned beans, make lunches so quick. Because especially if you already have, like here's an example really quick. I know I'm going back and forth, I'm probably making you a little dizzy. But, um, so we've got our, our barley that's prepped already. I could make a lunch in like, I don't know, 90 seconds, <laughs> like by getting a, a couple scoops of barley, seasoning them with all my favorite seasonings, which is coming up on my list, I haven't said them yet, um, and, and then taking uh, some frozen broccoli, frozen peas and frozen corn, warming them up on a stove top with a splash of water and then half a can of one of the beans that I've mentioned already. And there you go, put that all in a bowl. Put your favorite spices and seasonings on top and enjoy. Like that's how easy it can be if you kind of get into the flow of it. But when you're brand new and you're still kind of experimenting with foods and figuring out what fills you up, what doesn't, what, what combinations you actually enjoy together, um, how much time you realistically have to put these meals together, all of these different things that you kind of figure out as you go are all part of the process of putting this on autopilot. And I love, I always say that to you guys, the goal is to put your weight loss on autopilot so you don't have to think about it. You don't have to put a ton of effort and energy and time toward this forever. At the beginning, during this 30 day challenge, this is when you really do the work of setting up these systems. But then once it's on autopilot, these systems serve you. And the weight loss is just a result of continuing to eat this way. All right, so back to my list because I keep uh, digressing. Next, we've got uh, frozen blueberries slash frozen mixed berries, which I put in my smoothies uh, and I also put in my oatmeal. And sometimes I just pour a bowl of these, let them kind of defrost slightly and eat them as is. So frozen blueberries, of course you can get all of these foods fresh if you want. I like frozen because I don't have to worry about things going off and not eating them quickly enough. And also, uh, veggies and fruits are picked from ripe when they are frozen. So I find that the quality is fantastic. Um, and next, this isn't on my list, but I thought I'd show you anyways, because I have it in my freezer. Mango chunks. I love these as well. I don't get them instead of blueberries. I always make sure to get blueberries or mixed berries, but I also really like getting these because they're tasty. 
All right, next on my list is something that I love to snack on, which I don't have here right now, but I do have an alternative. And so on my list is grapes. I love grapes. And when people say that, um, say after dinner, usually you would have popcorn or crackers or pretzels or chips, and maybe you're sitting on the couch next to your family members who are all eating those things, and you're sitting next to them thinking, oh, I want some, what can I snack on? I say get a big bowl of grapes because at least it gives you that full, first of all, they taste delicious and they're healthy, um, but it gives you that feeling of like, not that it replaces chips at all because I know of course it doesn't, but it's still that kind of concept of having something to pick up and eat and snack on without having to worry or count calories or portion control. You can have a big bowl of grapes and enjoy them. All right, so my alternative to grapes that I have this week are these little cuties, which I absolutely love. They taste like candy to me. Alex and I have like at least five each every night. That's a five pound bag. And we got that at Winco as well. Now this is something that people who watch my channel kind of poke fun at me for in the comment sections, um, but I, I kind of love it at the same time, and is lemon juice. Like everyone, like when I'm making my dishes, I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna put a little splash of lemon juice, and really it's like, Ugh. People are like, that's a splash? But what can I say? I really like lemon juice. I love the flavor of lemon and lime. So I've got lemon slash lime juice, but I usually get both. And I just think it's such a great way. It's fat free. There's pretty much zero calories in it. It adds an interesting flavor, a tanginess to your meals. And uh, it's super inexpensive. I mean, yes, you can buy uh, fresh lemons if you want to wash the lemon, cut it, squeeze it, do all that. Of course you can do that. For me, I, just, I also like to put it in uh, warm water to try to get myself to drink more water. I just find getting these containers of lemon and or lime juice super convenient and I love, love adding them to my dips. So they make dips just super delicious. Chickpea dip with apple cider vinegar and lemon juice, so good. All right, next is soy sauce. I forgot to put that here on my counter. I do have some, but you know what soy sauce looks like. It's delicious. I love a little splash of soy. Yes, it's high in sodium. If you are doing a completely SOS free diet, which is salt, no salt, no oil, no sugar, then of course skip the soy sauce. But I'm of the belief that if you have to add a little bit of salt or a little bit of soy sauce to get yourself to truly enjoy eating vegetables, and it makes eating this way not miserable for you and you actually enjoy the food a lot, then I think that that is okay. But that's just my own personal choice. Do always do what feels best for you. All right, on to the spices. We've got garlic powder and chili flakes. And if I can only choose two spices to buy, this is what I'm choosing. Now this container says minced onion, but really I got garlic powder at the bulk section from Winco. So I just filled up an old container. And crushed red pepper, so, so good if you like spice. Just such a simple thing to add to your food to make it more interesting and delicious. And last but not least, if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know I'm a creature of habit and I season most of my dishes with the same things all the time. And we've got liquid smoke, under $2.00 and a few drops of this, literally like three to five drops of this will make any bowl of soup, any chili, any dip that you make taste like hickory. It's just a hickory delicious flavor that has zero calories and I just think it's such an amazing thing to add to your food if you like that flavor. So I really, really, really enjoy it. Again, yeah, you can add it to your dips and um, it's just so yummy. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend trying it out. Maybe it's not your thing. Maybe you wanna add you know, a little bit of sriracha to your dishes or dill spice. That's another one I really like. Love cumin, love curry powder, um, love smoked paprika. But again, this is about a capsule grocery list. And Another reason, another way that this can be helpful for you, think of it this way. This is actually something that I, I 
experience. So say you are going on, uh, you have to go away somewhere for a week. And I'll just use my example. When I first started eating this way in uh, 2019, I started in October and in November, Alex had a trade show in Vegas. And so we went and we rented an Airbnb and um, I just, I had just started eating this way and I'm like, I can't eat takeout food or anything like that. So I knew my go-to items and I went to the grocery store close by and I knew what I could make quite easily and quickly and it was actually really helpful. Um, I didn't quite have my list formed as well as I do right now, but again, this is after over a year of eating this way. Now I definitely know my favorite things to make and what I need to buy in order to make those dishes. But uh, say you're going on vacation and you're thinking, well, what am I gonna eat when everyone else in my family is eating whatever they're having? And so having this in mind of like, you know, it just kind of gives you some clarity and simplifies things. And you can have your list maybe saved on your phone and uh, maybe write down three easy breakfasts, three easy lunches and three easy dinners, which was actually part of your homework for the 30 day challenge. And you know, having those go-to meals that you can make no matter where you go. If you go somewhere and you're staying with family for a week, you don't have to make them feel like they need to go out of their way to cook all of these elaborate you know, plant-based meals for you. You know a few things that will kind of get you by for that week or two, even if you have to eat the, like, the same type of meals on repeat. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I'm going to, oh, I think I skipped over rice on the list. I was just about to wrap up the video and I looked over at my bag of Thai jasmine rice. This was number four on my list in between old fashioned oats and pearl barley. A big bag of rice. There we go. I'm glad I remembered that and I caught that before I started editing this video and then realized it. So the full list will be at lowcaloriedensity.com. Again, I encourage you to make your own capsule grocery list with a few go-to recipes. It's gonna simplify your life. It's gonna enable you to put this way of eating on autopilot so you're not spending all of your time and energy and money on food and you can just live your life and have this be a part of your life that is just seamlessly integrated. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sending lots of love your way and well done for making it halfway through the low calorie density challenge. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. What a sweet angel baby. What a sweet angel baby. Hi Beckham, I love you.